So now women are lonely and they're all incels and blah, blah, blah. All right, let's click this link. media of course of course there's no real solid evidence of this honestly but let me explain something my point isn't about me hating on MGTOW. My point initially is about the fact that if you're against it, you're a beta male simp. And if you're not against it, you're pretty much um, an Enzo in denial. even if you prove otherwise. So, really, I'm I'm really not interested in in popularity, period. There's really no point in in trying to give a popular opinion when A popular opinion is nothing more than a popular opinion. I'm not really into coping. It's just not my thing. I do not believe that more women are committing suicide than men. They don't have a reason to commit suicide more than men. I mean, aren't they all spoiled? as a collective I know they attempt it and I know they claim they're lonely but that's but that's every time they don't get what they want so sorry I'm just tired and I don't really feel like going over this for the billionth time, but if you want me to talk about it, hey, I'll talk about it. I kind of just, I'm just here to get this over with because like I said, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. You might as well just be real. If and the holidays are the worst. I have been in my real life, not in my life, but who I know in my real life who don't like the fact that I'm a bachelor, that I'm not out here having unprotected sex. I'm not on I don't have to worry about Wealth, the uh, getting kicked out the home for welfare, um, and the added stress I don't need. I don't have to worry about what else. <laughs> Pretty much everything. <laughs> everything that comes with I don't know a marriage. I 
I mean, really, what do you want me to say? And I hear about a lot of breakups on the holidays, too. I'm already expecting some dirty looks. Have, you know, got a neighbor who screams outside of outside of the house. Every time he catches me with some woman. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Left and right, I look online and hear about guys whose wife broke up with them for some other dude who's riding the cock carousel. Well, who's going to get the blame for it? Who are they going to? Who are these men going to take it out on? Not on her. Online, they'll talk shit online about her, but other than that. But in the real world, who's really going to take the blame for it? Not her. Bachelors like me. Guys who are bachelors like me and childless. The so-called Chad. Because I already knew better. That's who's really going to take the blame for it. Me. So when these guys, so when these guys turn MGTOW or whatever, Does it really matter if I join their group or not? We're not going to be friends in real life. Because based on how I live, I was already pretty much the mid time before it even existed. What's the point? I didn't have to destroy my life with some women to become that. I already saw what was happening to other guys. What do y'all want me to say? And he's then, after the shit hits the fan, all of a sudden these guys want to be all about, I'm all about my money and my pleasure. That was already who I was as soon as I started having sex. Because I was already seeing fucked up shit. Everything these dudes talk about, I was already seeing. By the time I was even 20 years old. I wasn't going to go around making a mistake that I seen happening. Okay, pussy is everything to these guys. It is now just like it always has been before it fucked their lives up. What difference does it make? The only difference now is they're angry about the consequences. Shit, we got condoms. The fuck, man? So yeah, it's whatever, man, whatever. It's whatever. Whatever. 